Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the men's finals for the World Skate Oceania Continental Scooter Champs. We're kicking off. All right, Mola, when you're ready, 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts now. Straight in. Backflip, Bassman, tail whip, kicking it off. Off the steeper takeoff. Hill, a rewind late. 360 bar bar, also known as the double truck driver. Coming on over the box jump. There's that 540 down whip on the 10 foot. A little bit of that street inspiration. The throw double out of the speed ramp as well. Coming on through. Backflip inward over the box jump. Double tail whip air on the 10 foot. Buttercup on the spine. Five seconds. Oh, looking for that down a full. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Jamola. got an Australian rider. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Clayton Saunders. Alrighty, Clayton, 45 seconds on the cost, on the clock. Sorry, I can't even talk, I'm that nervous. These tricks are gonna be fire. All the way from Queensland, Australia. He's just drying off those grips. Judges are good to go. We're ready when you are. Come on, Napier, let's make some noise right now for Clayton Saunders. Kicking things off, heading straight towards that box jump. Oh, gone huge there with a 360 bar to full whip, I believe. Steezing it out over the spine with that little deck grab into a huge buttercup air. Into the triple, flying across that box. Bar, bra, whip. Wouldn't believe it, I did that like 10 years ago. No chance now. Turning around up the top and heading back towards the box jump for the second time. Triple finger to bar. Into a nice little back lip stall. Triple bar spin over the spine. Oh, over the spine, over the channel gap, sorry. Whip front, late whip to bar. Right around the buzzer. That is going to be up to the judges, whether that was in or out. But what a run from Clayton Saunders. So much risk throwing those Waving last to the, the fans bus. at home. Shout out to the guys at Pizzy. Oh, whoa. He's throwing big man away. out there. Judge is going to chat up and score is locked. Here we go. Clay Clayton taking a 71.83 there, which slides him into first. But who's next, Kyle? We got our man from down south. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Riley James. <laughs> Riley, you've been here before. You know how the drill 45 seconds on the clock, time starts when you drop in. Here we go. 360, there were some tail whips and some kicklesses and everything else. T-Bog from the 10 out to the six. Inward transfer over the speed ramp. Bar twist to whip over the spine. Into that triple downhill on the six foot. Bar rewind over the box jump backwards. Coming around, 20 seconds. Steep takeoff, going huge. Coming on back through, landing super high in that transition on the 10 foot. Huge whip front to a kickless. Triple finger air on the six foot and that is time. Way to go, Riley James. A 
if one of your interpreters over there was a one of your interpreters, have they got that first trick that Riley did? Three kicky heel kicky. Three kicky heel kicky. But what would you have called it? Uh, just three, yeah. Whip spinny thingy. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, and next on deck though is going to be Adam Puffler from Western Australia. Travelled probably further than anyone to be here today, all the way from Perth. I know he's going to have some homies back home tuning in on the live stream. Riley scoring an 80.5 there, putting him in first, play, first place currently. 45 seconds on the clock though. Puff Daddy, we're ready when you are. Let's make some noise, Napier, for Adam Puffler. Backy bar bar to kick things off over the box. Whip, whip front scoot to late whip on that little transfer there. Huge inward air on that back quarter, keeping nice and smooth with the kickless over the spine. Straight into a 540 flare, landing so high in transition. Heading back across the course now into a front side lip stall. D flip, coming over the box with plenty of speed. Stalling it out. 10 seconds to go into the Bry Buttercup. Five, four, three, oh! Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, for Adam Puffler. So huge. That first trick, he takes off on the steep takeoff, like right on this side, and he's shooting all the way to the other side of that landing. Yeah, floating all the way across, going nice and high. He's gonna be spewing on that last trick, but plenty of good tricks in that run. That's right, it's a two run format as well. Best run counts. So he's able to come back, clean that up. That final last trick, the whole run's looking good. But up next, our New Zealand three time back to back to back men's park champion. Make some noise, Napier, for Jet Williams. Was is pointing at me like I'm going to get all these tricks right. But I'm nah, going to try fine. my best. All right, Jet, 45 seconds on your clock. When you are ready, time starts when you drop in. There we go, triple whip into the speed ramp to kick it off. Brickless to... That was a double flare, I know that one. Easy, pulling it. T-Bog over the speed ramp. Triple finger over the spine, into the five flare on the six foot. 23 seconds on the clock. Oh, going for that full whip up the step up. Still got time, 17 seconds. Three sixty whip front to downhill. Oh, in that brickless to butter. Oh, flare double down heel, and that is time, ladies and gentlemen, Jit Williams. So many bangers in that run. He's going to want to clean it up a little bit, obviously, unfortunately, coming off on that one time. But other than that, insane tricks there from Jet. Next up, though, we are going to have another Australian. All the way from Melbourne, Victoria. Reese Rogers, he's been around the block. World's youngest backflip at one point in time. Pretty sure world's youngest double. World's youngest he's things. Youngest backflip on BMX, I know that as well. But I think he's been knocked off now. What is it like? 45 youngest. seconds on the clock though. Napier, let's make some noise right now for Reese Rogers. Backflip dropping to kick it off into that Stanley late double. Whip front, late whip on the 10 foot. Bar to tuck no hander, nobody's doing them like that. Taking one of the most awkward ramps in the park and just sh shutting it down. Coming in, one, two, easy peasy. Back over the box jump, up to the top. What do we got for our second one? There's that 360 backflip with a basman into the fast plant flail. 
A bry whip on the spine. Five flare on the six foot, and that is time. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese Rogers. Wow. What a run from Reese. Currently representing Grit Scooters. The judges are in for a tough one this afternoon, Kyle. But next on deck is going to be Corey Sponsella. All the way from Brisbane, Australia. I know his mum and dad are here. Little Manu wave there. I know his mum and dad are here. Stoked, loving their time over in Napier. Corey currently representing Scooter Village and Core. If you don't know his name, I'm sure you will after this run. 45 seconds on the clock. Come on, guys, let's show some love to Corey Sponsella. Huge backflip drop. Straight into the fronty inward, making it look so easy. Into the whip butter on the big quarter. Whip, rewind, rewind, double add into yesterday. Steezy little t box straight into the nothing front to whip as a speed trick into the double flare. This is insane. Jumping up into that feeble, taking a unique little line and not turning around up the top. Heel to finger double. Stanley Flair whip. 10 seconds to go, Corey. Huge inward air. 360 bar whip into the fast play front flail on the buzzer. <laughs> there is no reasonable answer as to how he landed that three bar whip. I figured out how to spell clutch. Magic. C-O-R-E-Y. Right there. Sick run. Holding it down all the way to the end. After qualifying in first yesterday. I know we really wanted to up it and I think he's done that there. Holding on at all costs. Judges just... Trying to Boom. figure that one out, and the score has been locked, putting him in first place with a 90.83. All right, so we're about to get into our second and final runs for our men's park. Joseph Jamola up next. We know him as Mola. He's a street killer and a park killer. When you're already Mola, 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts when you drop in. Here we go. Backflip, bar, whip, bar. Into that heel, a rewind late. The 360 bar, bar over the spine. T bog on the eight foot. Throw double bar over the box jump. There's that 540 down whip. T bog over the spine. Shooting up to the top of the speed ramp. 17 seconds left. Oh, there's that backflip inward. Into the finger whip on the 10 foot. Buttercup on the spine. And there's the downfall and time. I think that was, I think that might have been after the buzzer. Can I get a thumbs up or thumbs down from the judges? Was that after time? After time. Here we go. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, hands again for Moller again. Look at the smile on his face. He's out here having a good time. Getting some props from the boys right now. He's got to be stoked with that one. <laughs> always the way though. You always fall like just messing around or something like that. You do the most ridiculous tricks, get away with it, and then trip over it. flat ground. Next up on deck, Clayton Saunders. Dropping in for his second run. We're just going to wait for the judges to lock in that 45 second timer. Yep, good to go. Mola jumping up into fifth, but right now on the course, Clayton Saunders, all the way from Australia. Ready when you are, bro. 45 seconds. 
We'll start whenever you drop in. Come on, Napier, let's get behind him. Hitting the box jump straight up. 360 bar, double whip to bar. Into a bra whip, hitting the transfer, reverse from the big to the small. Boost in the spine there. Straight into a textbook buttercup air. Is that triple or quad? Quad as a speed trick. Bar, bra, whip. Keep it going, Clayton. 20 seconds left on the clock. Chucking a quick Yui and heading back towards that box. Triple finger to bar. Into a nice little back lip stall on that big quarter. Five seconds. Bar, bar, bar. Squeezing it in. And the whip front, whip to bar on the buzzer. The He's buzzer stoked Peter. with that one. The homies are loving it. Always so good to see. This is my favourite thing about scootering. We might be competitors. We're rivals for about 45 seconds each. Yeah, big up Pizzy Skate Park. Shout out Gold Coast Council as well. I know we're not in uh, Australia, but they've been hooking it up with all the action sports, and you never know. We may hold one of these over there soon. <laughs> Come at me. I know a guy. I know a guy? I know a guy that knows a guy. Oh, sweet. We need to catch up from there, eh? All right, judges locking in the score. But who have we got next, Carl? All right, we got our man from down south riding for Grit Scooters, Riley James, ladies and gentlemen. This man registered for nationals in January and then gave me a phone call and was like, hey, Bucky, can I jump in the open men's? And I was like, for sure, mate. And now look at him, Oceania finals right now. Riley, 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts when you drop in. Here we go. 360, kicky, kicky, kicky to start it out. T-Bog transfer from the 10 to the 6. Inward over the speed ramp. Bar twist to whip over the spine. Into that triple downhill on the 6 foot. Bar rewind over the box jump backwards. Coming around with 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, there's the double D flip. Bar bar transfer 6 to 10. High in transition. Shooting up, oh, <laughs> going for the back scooter, both hands off. Ladies and gentlemen, O'Reilly James. Another really solid run from Riley there. Unfortunately, just coming off at the end. Currently sitting in fourth place with an 80. Point five oh. I have to see what the judges think of that last one. However, 45 seconds is on the clock and on deck all the way from WA, it is Adam Puffler. We'll try that one again, eh? Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, all the way from Perth, we got Adam Puffler. There, there we, we go. go. The man did not fly seven days just to get here for that. I'm going to give it back to you now so I don't mess up his run. I nah, hype the crowd up. I'm going to mess it up either way. <laughs> that's right, as long as it's not me. Nah, as long as it's not him. Here it is at the box jump. Backy, bar, bar, bar. Throwing an extra run in there from his last run. Whip, whip front, whip. Back across now into a huge inward air. And boosting over the spine with plenty of speed for this hit. Bang, straight into one of the cleanest 540 flares you could see. Into a kickless over the spine. Stalling it out with a little front side lip stall. Into the D flip. Feeble and heading back across the course now. In his last run he went huge. Bright butter. Sticking it. Flare triple, and that is going to be time. Squeaking it in. Definitely going to improve on his last score there. Puffy absolutely stoked on that one. 
getting props from Barney, Corey, and some of the other competitors. Oh, he's currently sitting in seventh with a 72.5. It's pretty tight, but he's just jumped up into fifth place with a 79.83. He is going to be stoked on that one. Here we go. And fellow Apex rider up next, your New Zealand back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back champion, Mr. Jet Williams, ladies and gentlemen. 45 seconds on the clock, Jet. You know the deal. Here we go. There's that triple whip into the speed ramp, into the brickless to Kiki. Double flare, six to 10. Floating back over. T-Bog over the speed ramp. Double finger over the spine, into that 540 flare. Floating it round. Get that Bart rewind up the step up. Coming around, back at the box jump, 15 seconds. 360 whip, front to downhill. Oh, stopping it, keeping it going. Five seconds. Oh, clean as can be. Oh, and squeezing in the transfer, Jet Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Jet clicking into beast mode there. He's got to be stoked. Such a powerful run. So many technical tricks. He makes them look easy though, Kyle. He does, because I taught him. Cheer. Sure. Uh, it's that hours and hours and hours of practice. Putting it in. Whenever he comes into Napier, you just see him. He's got a plan. He comes in. He practices. He knows what he's doing. He's focused. And that's where you get... Look at that, jumping it up, 87.83 into second place. Yeah, that puts the pressure on this next man on deck in third now with an 84.67 is Reese Rogers representing Grit Scooters from Melbourne, Victoria in Australia. 45 seconds on the clock. Come on crowd, let's get behind him. This is Reese Rogers. Huge backy whip drop to kick things off. Straight into the Stanley to whip. Whip front whip, making it look so buttery and smooth. Bar to one of the biggest tuck no handers I've ever seen. Into an in cup over the channel. So much speed into, oh! <laughs> Letting it rip there, that was a double flare tail whip attempt. He's leaving it all on the line right now. It's all right though, it's only one fall and straight back towards the box jump. Three flip, bar, just losing his footing. 10 seconds to go, Reese. Keep it going, bro. He's waving it. Ladies and gentlemen, put it together for Reese Rogers right there. He put it all on the line there, going big or going home. He's still currently in third position, though, with an 84.67. He's a little spilling, but what an incredible run, Kyle. That's it. He knew, he knew he had to step it up. And all credit to him, he threw it down. He stepped it up, he, he just tried to throw a tail whip in the middle of a double flare. Like you've got to pull, pull, pull to get it all the way around and to somehow take your feet off and do a tail whip in the middle of it. 100%. It's crazy to think that they're all doing double flares and stuff like that just casually in their run. It didn't even exist the last time I was competing in a competition like this. But on deck right now, 45 seconds to go. The current leader, Corey Sponsella. Let's make some noise, Napier. Backy drop in, straight into the box. Fronty inward. Into the whip, Buttercup. Floating over that spine with a whip, rewind, rewind, late whip. Into a nice T-bog out. Heaps of speed. Whoa! I think he was going for the double flare whip there as well, trying to get it done for the crowd. Yeah, Make yeah. some noise. Who wants to see him give that another crack, ladies and gentlemen? He's already in first place. He doesn't have to do anything. He's doing this for All you right. guys, ladies and gentlemen. Put it your hands together right now for Corey Sponsello. Oh. <laughs> Ejecto Cito Curs. Right on the buzzer, too. Corey's well, still stoked, though. 
currently in first position with a 90.83. And that is going to wrap us up for the Men's Park Finals. Put your hands together for all the competitors, ladies and gentlemen. In eighth, Jake Russell. Joe Jamola in seventh. Clayton Lindley taking sixth. Fifth place to Adam Puffler. Fourth to Riley James. And then the podium. Third place, Reese Rogers. Second place, Jet Williams. And in first, Corey Sponsella. First off in this men's final is going to be Jacob Flynn. Locking some tunes in. Not only is this dude one of the best scooter riders from here in Napier, he's also a great Uber driver. He's been hooking it up with lifts all around the local town for us blow-ins. 45 seconds on the clock. Napier, are you ready for Jacob Flynn? Oh, that doesn't really sound like it. Come on, let's make some noise right now. Jacob kicking things off. Bar, backside, board slide, locking in with a frontside 270 out. Heading back across the course. Backside 50-50, back lip 270. Steezing it out. Bar, feeble, going to 50-50. And then kicking that heel whip out. Another back 50 up on the quarter with 15 seconds to go as he backboards down and heel whips out of that big rail. Crook kicking it into lip and chinking it out. Five seconds to go. Oh! Huge downside heel whip to back lip. Just catching there. Make some noise for Jacob Flynn, ladies and gentlemen. He was going so well. He's going to want to stick that one in his next run. But loading for this first run of the men's finals, Jacob Hanning. Jacob Hanning. There he is. Represent the Plaza and S2 with the collab shirt. If you haven't got one, go and see the boys. Judges have locked in the score for Jacob Flynn. 45 seconds is on the clock. Come on, Napier. Let's get that energy up for these boys. Jacob Hanning, ladies and gentlemen. Predator on the down rail. Double heel over that grass gap. With a bar rewind on that big back quarter. He does it so fast. Front side 270 to back lip. Drop him back in on the mini quarter and head him back across the course. Front side, Hurricane. 270 to lip. Now he's coming back. Bar 5 0 on the square rail. Just under 10 seconds to go, Jacob. Bar front board, so nice. And then a 270 whip. Front side 50, 270 in. It's a really, really, really solid run there for Jacob Hanning. He's going to be stoked with that one. Yeah, boo! Next up, though, I know this guy's got a couple of fans in the crowd. He smashed it this morning. Yeah, big park guy. I didn't know he had it in him, to be honest. But he's a guy with so many tricks, and you're about to see exactly what I'm talking about. Judges locking in the score there for Jacob Hanning. 45 seconds on the clock. Joseph Jamola. Ready when you are, bro. Caveman drop in off the railing. Heaps of speed at this big quarter. Oh, going huge with that downside heel. And then grabbing the toboggan. 270 whip to lip. Makes it look so easy. Front side salad. Kicking it out and locking that one in. Whip front board, 270 bar, stop it. He's on fire with 20 seconds left. Front side 50, down whip to front lip, down. Making it all the way across that rail. Chinking on the way in. Nose Manny linking it up across the course. Seven seconds to go as he 270 whips that hip. 270. Heel front board, and that is going to be time. Jamola showing you what he's got. So much style, so many really, really difficult tricks in there. 
You just can't ever tell because he makes it look effortless. Next up, we've got another NZ native straight out of Auckland. He's a bit of an attention seeker. Just I was literally his, about to make that exact joke as just, well. Just ask his LinkedIn. If you haven't seen him, he's been popping off on TikTok. Day 300 and something in making a clothing business. And if you want to support it, he's got shirts all around. But right now, he's rocking that Apex shirt. One of his sponsors. 45 seconds has been loaded onto the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Connor Ransley. Starting it off with a nice backside hanger all the way across, straight into a huge full down whip air. Going front side as he does, a 270 down whip to front board on the rail and then linking it up, dancing across the quarters coping. Front feeble whip to fakie feeble, 270 in. He's so smooth on these ledges. Bar twist front board, throwing the bar. 10 seconds to go, Connor. Front side 50, up and across. Into the double down whip air. Three seconds. 270 whip, rewind. Let's go. Damn, just pulling it right before the buzzer as well. Coming in clutch. Yeah, like we mentioned before, these riders know to squeeze as much into that 45 seconds as they can. And someone with a bit of experience is this man right here, Kyle. That's right. Currently ranked sixth in the world in men's street after world champs last year. All the way from down south, Mr. Corey Griff, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're just going to make sure the judges lock that time clock once they've locked in the score for Connor. There we go, Connor up into second place with a 77.67, but right now all eyes on Corey Griff. Let's get it, brother. Dropping in, heading straight towards the ledge with a front side 5-0. Chink back lip to heel. So technical. Going 5 0 still whip in there. 50 board back lip or back lip to board. So hard, I can't even remember what I'm watching. Is mind blowing. Front side 50, 270 in. Whip front board on the big down rail, straight into a 360 downside heel. Bar spin from the big, popping back out into the small quarter. Now over 50 to heel, so technical. He lands on like the smallest little part of his deck, sliding on the other side of that rail. Five seconds to go as he does a huge gap to front board, straight into a back lip, and that is going to be time. Going big boy right there. Yeah, we saw him eye off that gap yesterday, so I'm stoked to see him bring it back today. That's right. He's the first person to successfully do that gap as well the other day during practice, I think. He said that he come up to me and was like, hey, Bucky, you reckon that rail will handle this? And I was like, there's one way to find out. Yeah, not many people would try it. He's a bit of a lunatic. But as the judges look to lock in his score, we have another rider getting ready for his run. It's Cooper Steen, also representing the De Plaza S2 collab shirt. Experience here in Cooper Steen. Yeah, he's got, the, he's got the new balance on as well, showing some love to our sponsors of this event. All righty, we are good to go, bro. 45 seconds on the clock. Come on, Napier, let's make some noise for Cooper Steen. Backside 50, throws the bar spin and then does a backside three out. So technical. Whip, front board two, does not put his feet on the ground. So that one is going to count. Nose many across that manual pad and down into the Euro. Backing it up straight away with a front board. Or whip front board, should I say. T-Bog back lip. Adding so many tricks into this with 10 seconds left to go. Chink front board on the big down rail. Full heel. Five seconds to go as he goes into the back 50 bar. Whip in. And the downside. Right there. Experience right there. Cooper Steen riding in juniors last year over at Worlds. Placing third place in juniors. 
Yes. Giving up the juniors and going up against the men now. And look at him qualifying in third place. 100%. So good to see him stepping up. He definitely fits in. He's got the ability level to back it up. Just like this man right here, Jordan Chan. Look at him. He's always smiling. I love it. One of the nicest guys in scootering. He's doing it for the next generation as well. Jordan runs his Just Scootering Academy up in Auckland. He's got a bunch of the young kids there. Everyone make some noise for Just Scootering. Yeah. yeah. Love to see it. Day to day out at the schools, passing on all of that knowledge. And now he's here to show you what it's all about. Jordan, when you're ready, man, 45 seconds on the clock. Dropping on that big quarter and heading straight across the course because he's going up the rail, backside 50, back lip, 270, just absolutely greasing it. And he's going back down and now with a bar, bar, or bar rewind to back lip. It was so quick, I couldn't even tell which way it went. Back 50, heading back towards the rails now. No way, he's going back 50 up the rail, a gap over to the ledge in a front 50. So precise, just like that backsmith to nose manual down the hubber. Linking it up on this one as well. Into the backside, 50-50 with five seconds to go, Jordan. Back 50, hop over, chucking a little bar spin in there. And that is gonna be time. So technical, the crowd love it and so do we. He makes it look effortless. So much style in this category. It's a massive thing for the judges as well. The way that you execute those tricks really matters. And George just oozes style. Yeah, not only representing just scootering, but also riding for Envy Scooters, our title sponsor this weekend. Yeah, Doing I'm, them proud, making it through to the finals and putting together a run like that. I'm stoked to see him on the team. Next up on the course, though, while the judges lock in Jordan's score is going to be Joel Ingold from the Gold Coast in Australia, representing Apex Pro Scooters. Kind of looks a bit like Wolverine at the moment, and I wish I could tell you why, but you'll have to wait and see. Number one qualifier from yesterday, also seventh place at Worlds last year. Yeah. All the talent down here in Oceania. Joel, 45 seconds on the clock, man. The course is in your hands. Kicking it off with a backside 5-0. Straight into that whip front hurricane. 270 heel. Going hard ways off that rail as well. Full whip to front board. Straight into a nice front side, lift side. Chinking up. Backside 50. Back lip. 270. Into a full heel. Linking these tricks back to back to back. 17 seconds left. Board side up, whip, board side across. So silky. 10 seconds left, Joel. Hard way, backside two to board slide. Three seconds as he does that 540 bar. And a double heel, that is gonna be time. Such a solid run. There you go, now you see why he was the number one qualifier and ranked seventh in the world. Yeah, it, has, it may have something to do with, you know, you're talking about just scootering. I kind of had a similar thing back in the day and he may or may not have come through that program, may I don't know. Well, may or may not, are you taking the credit, are you? Nah. Nah, nah. He was better than me back then too, so it's all... <laughs> was he teaching you? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. But he was paying for it. He was paying That sounds like a good deal. Yeah, it was great. 45 seconds. Loaded up though for run number two. And first off is gonna be Jacob Flynn. Ooh, local legend right here, Jake the Snake. You'll see him ripping laps around Miani Speedway. Very talented race car driver, but a more talented scooter rider. Here we go. Straight in, many across the driveway to start it off. Oh, zinching it around, pulling out that 360 out of it as well. 270 back into that quarter pipe. Backside 50-50, bar spin out across that driveway rail. Bar to sell it on the quarter pipe. Bar to feeble, pull up 50-50, heel out. Linking it all together, 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Coming back through, board slide down the big rail in the middle. Bar spin over the A-frame. 
Carving his way around. Yeah, the invert to front board, bringing the old school to new school. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Flynn. Next on course, not sure where he is right now, Jacob Hanning. Where he, oh, there he is. Looking the wrong way. Coming back out for his second run. This dude's always smiling. I love it. Always smiling. He's another one of those junior riders stepping up into men's. In the final as well. Yep. Age is just a number out here. Ability level is through the roof, though, for all of these guys. 45 seconds on the clock. We are ready when you are, Jacob. Let's go. Straight in towards that big rail. Going for the Predator. Double heel over the Garden Gap. Just cruising. He makes those bars look so easy as he does that bar rewind. Truck drive at a lip. Straight into another back lip as well. Front side, board slide, 270 lip. Bar ice on that one. He's done it in both runs. Such a technical trick. You've got to be so precise. As he goes, whip. Front side, lip side there, 270 whip. And then finishing it off right there with the front side 50, 270 bar spin in. Another really solid run for Jacob Hanning. Yes, Jacob. Like you said, that bar spin to ice, such a technical trick. Not much to land on, and when you're throwing the bar spin in it as well. No, you're literally talking about landing within one, maybe one and a half centimetres, two centimetres, if you're lucky. Pretty it's, much. It's tiny, and you've got to have all of your balance there as you glide across the top of that rail. Yeah, so it's not only side-to-side -side balancing, but it's that balance point as well. But we back with Jamola, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for Joseph Jamola. Yeah, there we go. There's obvious reasons why the, the crowd is hyping it up right now. His last run, he kicked it off by going huge. I'm guessing we might see something similar. 45 seconds on the clock. Come on, Jamola, let's go. Plenty of speed for this one. And that's why, going huge with a downside heel whip. Catching it and then grabbing toboggan. Just coming a little hot there on that rail, but he's straight back on the scoot. 25 seconds to go. Oh! You all right, Mola? Yep, he's all good. Put your hands together for Jamola. There we go. You got 10 seconds left if you want it, bro. Of course he does. He's a man of the people. Time to ride this course on your own. You take every second of it. 100%. Ooh. Go for that whip nose, Manny. Ladies and gentlemen, hands here for Joseph Jamola again. Remember, he's going to have another chance to improve on his score later on with the best trick attempts. That's it. So we're running the 2 3 3 format here. So two 45 second runs. One of those runs count. They can throw away one of the scores, so Joseph will obviously throw away that score right there. And then they come back for three tricks. Those are scored out of 50 points and are added to that run score that is scored out of 100. They can throw away one of those tricks, overall score out of 200. Yeah, but next on the course, as the judges lock in at that score for Mola there, is going to be Connor Ransley. He's back for run number two, and he's good to go. The judges are ready, Connor. Let's see it, brother. Dropping in right now on that little quarter as he heads all the way across the course. Backside hanger with so much speed. A huge downside full whip on that transfer. Frontside, 270. Going down whip as he lands in that front board. Whip, feeble. Plenty of speed as he comes back across into a frontside 50. Bar spin while still in 50 and then finger whip out. So technical. 
add him to the difficulty level with that finger whip as well as he goes front board to bar to fakie half cab bar off linking it all up just under 10 seconds to go connor front side feeble whip fakie feeble 270 into the bank perfectly timing it and a double heel to finish it off put your hands together for connor ransley Connor Ansley, one of those New Zealand riders making that pull-up bar in the 50-50s so popular. Yeah, he's so technical. Such a cool trick. A lot of these guys make their runs look so easy and effortless, and that comes down to the style, but the difficulty level of most of these tricks is through the roof. This is world-class right here. Just like this man right here, Corey Griff on course. He's full of steez. But he's about to throw down. 45 seconds on the clock. Let's see it, Corey. Come on, Napier. Let's get behind these guys and make some noise once again. Front side, 5-0. Straight into the chink, back lip, whip. Into that ice to whip. 50, back lip, whip. Linking it up all the way back to back across the course. Front side, 50, 270 in as he heads this big rail. Whip, front board, whip. 360 over the garden gap. And a little bar transfer there to keep that flow. Over 50 to heel on the rail. He's got it so consistent. 10 seconds to go. Tons of speed. He's thinking about that transfer. He's going to whip. Oh, that's this ah. bomb just didn't quite get the speed. Ladies and gentlemen, hands to give a Corey Griff right there. Maybe we'll see that transfer gap in his best trick attempt. Who knows? Next up, though, the homie, Cooper Steed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Coop. He's going to load that 45 seconds up. Once the judges have locked in Corey's score, which literally happens every time I mention it, like straight away. So we're just getting a little bit of raindrops right here. It's really light, but what happens is when you have a smooth surface like we do, it doesn't take much to kind That's of it. spoil it. And these riders are having to put quite a bit of pressure into these wheels to be able to get to the rails yep. and all of that. And obviously the safety of these riders comes first. We have got a little bit of wind though, so any raindrops that we get are drying up fairly fast. <laughs> all right, so just talking to him, so just letting him know if it stays like this, we're all good. Uh, he's happy to go. But if it starts to get a little bit worse in his run, he's going to stop mid-run and we're going to reset, okay? But he has to make that call and stop straight away to end the run. Not because he bails. Just to make that clear, Coop. Hey, Cooper, you can't bail a trick and be like, no, nah, no, nah, I want to stop now because it's wet, okay? But if, it is, if we do get a bit more moisture in that mid-run, feel free to let us know, stop straight away, and we'll reset. Yeah, All right, three Cooper. Riders left for run number two. 45 seconds on the clock. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's get behind these guys. Cooper Steen. Starting off with a breakless Manny. Now going that backside 50. Bar spin in 50 and then truck driver out. He makes it look so easy. Way too easy. Heading back towards that rail. Whip front board at 270. Linking it up now as he heads back across the park with a nose manual. Whip front board on the rainbow rail. Nice little backflip there as well. He's gone toboggan backflip with 12 seconds left to go. Chink front board down the big rail. Five seconds as he does that full heel. Downhill to backflip. And a triple whip on the buzzer.
Oh, here we go. He's definitely one of the local favourites. And qualifying in second place yesterday, he's definitely got the ability to back it up. He's just going to head to his starting position now. Same rules apply, though, about the rain. If it does kick off, you do have the opportunity to just jump on the brakes and say, hold up. 45 seconds is on the clock. Napier, our second last run of the day. I'm going to need a little more energy from everyone. This is Jordan Chan. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ready when you are, bro. 45 seconds. Time starts when you drop in. Heading straight towards that big up rail. Backside 50, back lip. Whip to fakey. Getting the half cab whip off as well. Straight up into a feeble on that quarter pipe. Bar bar back lip. Ridiculous. So fast with his hands. This dude has got plenty of tricks and he squeezes them in. And links him up as well, showing his consistency. He was going for the 50, landed in feeble and took it. Dancing on the coping up there. Backside feeble. Up, road across. Holding on, showing his consistency and also his comp awareness. 5-0 across the flat bar. And that is going to be time for Jordan Chan. The dude is so consistent. Even when it's not working, it's still working. Next up though, and this is gonna be the final run of the day. Remember, we've got best trick after this, but the final run of the day, 45 seconds on the clock. Current number one position rider, Joel Ingold, all the way from Australia, representing Apex Pro Scooters. You know the rules, Joe. If it rains, you want to stop, you can stop. But there's 45 seconds on the clock. Come on, Napier. Let's make some noise once again. I loved it last time. There we go. Backside 5-0. Go on, whip. Frontside hurricane, 270 heel. Straight into a frontside lift side. And then he's heading back over across the course. Full whip to front board. Trying to squeak a little whip in there as well. 20 something seconds left as he goes. Backside 50, back lip 270. Full heel over the garden gap. 20 seconds to go, Joel. Tons of speed right now. He goes board up. Was that heel or whip, Griff? Heel. Mixing it up from his last run with difficulty as well. 270 whip to board. Showing he can spin both ways. And then the 540 bar. Downhill, back lip. As well, this dude, adding to his last run, leveling it up as well. So silky from Joel Lingold there. Can we just get the riders in real quick, the pro riders, just to give them a quick heads up on the game plan? Obviously, we're not too sure on what this weather's going to do. Okay, so quick team talk just to let them know the contingency plan. 
We're now going into the tricks. We have our leaderboard after our run. So Joel Ingwald in first, Corey Griffiths in second, Jordan Chan in third. We now go into the tricks. There is three trick attempts. We need to get through two trick attempts if we're going to count one trick, okay? So it's still out of 50. If we rain out before we get through the trick list twice, so each rider getting two attempts, we will go off purely just the runs, okay? If we rain out in that third trick, then they get to, we just take the first two trick attempts and they throw one trick away and they keep one so the score will be out of 150, okay? But it's not going to rain and we're going to get through them all. Okay, so starting us off, the man from the bay, the hometown hero, Jacob Flynn, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise. First trick attempt. Here we go. He's gone. Oh, bar. with the heel out. Yeah, gone bar, board slide, lock in front, 270 heel. Super technical, especially on a short rail like that. That's it. We're going to give the judges a bit of time to put that in. Jacob Hanning up next. Jacob over here in the right on the black T-shirt. Ripping the De Plaza. All right. 25.33. Here we go. Oh, backside 50-50. Lip bar out. Sticking that I trick bar, attempt. I think the bar was in the middle, wasn't it? Was it the bar in the middle. It was so quick, man. The judges saw that. All right, judges got to put that together. Yeah. Just hold on a second, Jamola. Yeah, so technical, chucking a bar or a whip in the middle of the grinds. It just ups that difficulty level, so that's going to score him really well. All right, Jamola, up to you now. Nose bump, bar, drop in, but that's not the trick. This is... Finger, Finger with the board, board slide. slide. Here we go. Jacob Hanning picking up a 37 points for that trick attempt. Joseph Jamola sticking his trick there. Yep, and next up is going to be Connor Ransley. You can see him over here on your left, perched up on the sub box. We're just going to wait for the judges to lock in that score though. Make sure we're fully up to date. Connor Ransley, captain of the De Plaza team. Right in for Apex as well. Yeah, if you haven't seen him, check out TikTok. He's been killing it on there lately. And here he comes right now, heading across the course. Front side board, bar fakey, whip bar fakey. Half cabin out. Perfectly timed with a drop off on that ledge. One of those combos that just kept on going. Yeah, he's got the perfect balance cheat codes from Tony Hawk. I thought we were meant to make them turn off those cheat codes. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. They haven't put them onto Scooter Flow yet. So if you haven't checked out that game, maybe yeah. you could invent the cheat codes for that. Or you just got to turn into Corey Griff mode. He's got cheat codes, I can tell you that. And he's loading up right now. Judges ready? Yeah. Judges are ready. Judges Corey Griff. Are ready. Let's see what you got, brother. Front side, 5 0 down the big rail. That rail is round as well, so it's even harder to find that balance point and stick with it. That's going to definitely help his score. Locking in one trick so far in the best trick section. Following on from Corey Griff is going to be Cooper Steen, but we're just going to make sure the judges have locked in his score and are good to go. And here he is, Cooper Steen, best trick attempt number one. Gapping over from the ledge, bar front board to whip. I was not expecting that whip out of there. I wasn't expecting him to hit that gap, to be honest. Just showing the creativity in this division though. You can link up so many different features in this course. You just got to be creative enough to find that line. And this guy is definitely going to be bringing something creative. You guys have been going nuts for him all afternoon. Just going to wait for the judges' scores to be locked in. 
for MV Scooters team rider, Jordan Chan is on course. And we've got the thumbs up. Come on, crowd, let's make some noise for Jordan Chan. Backside 50, bar spin on the 50. Whip out on that big down rail. Oh, what a final coming through. I know, these guys are on a heater right now. I think and they're heating it up so much, it's keeping this rain away. Yeah, it must be because it doesn't look pretty, but we're not going to talk about it too much. I'm touching as much wood as I can. No cursing out here. Joel Ingold ready to drop once the judges lock in the score there for Jordan. And we've got the nod. Yep, good to go. Joel Ingold, attempt number one in the best trick section. 270, whip to board side on that down rail. Such a technical, technical trick. As soon as you start spinning or throwing tricks into a grind, it changes everything. You gotta somehow be in the perfect balance point and get away with it. And he makes it look effortless. All right. That's the first tricks done. Once we get the score in for Joel, move on to our second tricks. Yep. There we go, Joel score locked in, taking him to the top of the leaderboard. Here we go, Jacob Flynn coming straight in. Getting some speed on that back quarter as he heads back up and across. Invert to front board, maybe even trying to whip out there. Just not sticking it, but you gotta risk it for the biscuit in this competition sometimes. All right, Jacob Henning up next for trick and number two. So they get the option to throw one. Here we go. Getting plenty of speed, heading back towards this rail. Oh. What was that one? I think, I Three. didn't, did he do a bar? <laughs> yeah, it was, I knew there was a bar in it. It was a down whip bar front lip. So he might have seen him do a down whip to front lip before, but he's added a bar spin in there as well. So two tricks before he even hits the rail. Yeah, let's get this moving, boys. Wait for the judges, though. Next yeah, we've got to make gonna sure be... that the judges get their scores in. The last thing we want to do is rush the judges. Yeah, that is the most important thing. But next up is going to be Jamola. If you can't see him, he's over there on the big quarter pipe in the white shorts. As always, it's your choice, man. I'm happy if you're happy. And I'm just happy. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna we're gonna give it a little bit, and hopefully we can clear this. It is real important that we make sure that this course is safe and the riders are happy with it. This stuff does get real slippery, especially when these riders are doing big moves as well. They're spinning into grinds, out of grinds. They're looking for that grip, and it doesn't take much for them to go. No, literally, is, if you land on one raindrop, it could be see you later. Two all right, time. ladies and gentlemen, watching the live stream all around the world. As you can see, we've got a little bit of drizzle coming down, so we've had to call the competition early. The judges are just updating the scores, and we're going back to how we were, how we discussed it earlier. We will be taking the final rankings for Men's Street after the two runs. So those tricks won't count because we didn't get through two full rounds of individual tricks for the riders. So the results will be based off the riders two 45 second runs, their best run will count. We're gonna do a stop, uh, we're doing an MV giveaway right now where they're all just throwing out a bunch of product to all of the people that are here. But to everybody at home, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching the Oceania Continental Scooter Champs here at Basegate in Napier. 
Uh, unfortunately, the, the weather didn't quite hold out. It's been beautiful the last couple of days, but right till the end. But it's still been amazing. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. From wherever you, wherever you are around the world, whatever time it is at night, uh, and probably if you watch this at a later date, hopefully I look a whole lot more energised when I watch this. But thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you at the next event. Cheers. All right, that is the warm-up time done. So if we could please have you ladies down. Akira is up a first. When you're ready, Akira, 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts when you drop in. I'm ready for my favorite run of the day. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Let's kick it off. There it is, the big tuck. No hand is starting off. Yes, into the look back. This is why it's my favorite run. Oh, T Fitz is floating around. He'll be loving this run as well. Throwing in all these old school tricks. There we go. Kicking it out over the box jump. Into the bry flip. Six to ten. Clean looking run. 18 seconds. Is that front side 180 on the eight foot? Transfer from the spine to the box jump landing. Double whip. Six to ten. Seven seconds. Bassman ear on the lander. There's that down whip on the 10 foot. And that's the buzzer. Ladies and gentlemen, hands again for Akira. Stomping that first run. So it's that 2.45 second run format. Best run counts. That's basically what you want. You want to land that first run. Now you've got your whole second run to do whatever you wish. All right, our next rider up, Alexandria. I've got no idea what she's going to do. She was injured the other day, came into qualifying, and I got told she was going to take it easy. And then that went out the window. And she was like, well, if I'm going to go back to Australia, I fly back. I don't have to walk back. All right, Alexandria, when you're ready, 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts when you drop in. All yours, here we go. Triple finger over the box jump, starting it off. Coming back through, heading up the top of the speed ramp. Coming in for a second box jump hit. Oh, there it is, front flip over the box jump. Into the buttercup, six to 10. Flowing her way over, back up the top of the speed ramp. For a third box jump trick here. Bassman over the box jump. Bassman on the 10 foot coming through, four seconds. Bright air on the spine, landing it clean. And a whip on the six foot. Ladies and gentlemen, hands again for Akira. Alexandria. Oh, hands again for Alexandria. We'll give Akira a single. Akira's got my favourite run. I like the tuck no handers and the look backs and stuff. That's why. No offence to everybody doing all the new school tricks, but give me those tricks from the early 2000s. Alright, Akira's sitting in number one at the moment. We're just waiting for... Alexandria's score to come through, 55 flat. All right, our next rider up, riding for one of the brands that is sponsoring the event as well, but they also sponsor her. It's Emily Gibson, ladies and gentlemen. All right, starting from the top of the 10 foot, Emily, when you are ready, the course is yours. Here we go. Floating over with that clamp touch over the box jump backwards with a Bassman out of the speed ramp. There's that heel to finger, extending it out into that Superman. Coming on through. 20 seconds on the clock. She comes around for another box jump hit. 
Baspin to kickless over the box jump into the bar twist on the 10 foot. Seven seconds with the buttercup on the seven foot flowing through. Oh, looking for the heel, a rewind on the buzzer. Ladies and gentlemen, Emily Gibson. Next rider coming up. She also rides for one of the brands that is sponsoring this event and they are sponsoring her riding for Grit Scooters. We have Lucy Davis, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kiwi rider currently I think Emily's trying to poach her over to Australia. Hands off, she's ours. You can't take her. Punching these scores through at the moment. All right, 56 there for Emily. All right, Lucy, 45 seconds on the clock. When you are ready, time starts when you drop in. Here we go, charging in. Oh, cannonball to finger to kick it off. Whip a rewind, six to 10. Flowing her way back over and out of that speed ramp with the bar spin. Carving on round. Coming in, second box jump hit. Heel, a rewind, a rewind late. Into the whip, butter, six to 10. 20 seconds. So many tricks, but still so much time. Charging on through. Triple whip, quad whip, however many it was, there were heaps in there. T-Bog on the 10 foot. Belair on the spine, just slipping out. And that is time, ladies and gentlemen, Lucy Davis. So it is the 2.45 second run format. So these riders that might have had a bail in one of their runs, they can swip, clean it up in the second run and still come through. Our next rider up, also riding for one of our sponsors, Lucky Pro Scooters. We have Alexandra Madsen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Number one qualifier, currently ranked second in the world. She's no stranger to this. Alex, when you are ready, 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts when you drop in. Here we go. Straight in. T-Bog over the box jump backwards. Bassman out of the speed ramp. Flowing her way around. First box jump hit. Bry to Kiki over the box jump into the flare, six to 10. Floating her way over, 25 seconds on the clock. Charging in. Hit number two, 360 whip to Bassman. Into the whip front, up on the 10 foot. Transferring over the spine, into the 8 foot. Backside feeble. Triple whip transfer from the spine to the box jump. Downhill on the buzzer, ladies and gentlemen, Alexandra Madsen. Clean run there, right out the gate. Oh. All right, we're going back to the top of the order. Akira back in for run number two. 
currently sitting in third place on 57.33. All right, Akira, we got 45 on the clock. When you're ready, time starts when you drop in. Get ready for it. Here it comes. One of my favorite tricks. Oh, big Superman. Stepping it up. There's the look back. Up and over the box jump backwards. Out of the top of the speed ramp. Quick flow round. Charging over. Can over the box jump into the Bryce. Six to ten. 18 seconds on the clock. Issue yes, front side 180s. The eight foot transferring over the spine to that box jump lander. Whip air on the 10 foot. Oh, Bassman just missing the catch. Five seconds. Squeeze a couple more in. Yeah, alley 180 transfer. Ladies and gentlemen, hands give for Kira. Don't shake it up. This is still water. All right. Alexandria are back in for run number two. We'll just wait till we get that 45 on the clock. Judges obviously got to look at those scores. There we go, we got the 45. Alexandria, when you are ready, there we go, hype it up crowd, come on. Make some noise for her. She's injured and she's still throwing down. All right, when you're ready, here we go. Oh, triple finger over the box jump to start it off. Barspin transfer six to 10. Tail whip out of that landing ramp. Back up to the top. Turning around with 30 seconds left. You right? You good? <laughs> Keep it going, a little bit lost. All right, she's gonna go through. 12 seconds still on the clock. Oh, there it is, redemption on the front flip. Bassman air on the 10, Bry on the spine. Ladies and gentlemen, hands again for Alexandria. So much going on, especially when you throw those front flips, you just gotta tuck in. The pop doesn't quite feel right. You gotta get out of it. And I think that's probably about the safest you're gonna get out of one of those. That's that body control, knowing how you are in the air. All right, we got 45 on the clock. Emily Gibson, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Here we go, all right, Emily, when you're ready. 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts now, here we go. There's that clamp touch over the box jump into the 360 out of the speed ramp. Carving on round, coming back. Double finger over the box jump. Yes, into that back scoot with the grab. 25 seconds. Said no one up, she's gonna drop in with 17 seconds on the clock. Baspin to kickless. Bassman air on the 10 foot, 10 seconds. Making a way towards the seven. There's the bry whip. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in. Oh, ooh, so close. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Emily Gibson.
next rider up. Riding for Grit Scooters, Miss Lucy Davis. Right, she's making her way to the top of the speed ramp. Judges just putting in those final scores. Here we go, a bit of a change there. All right, Lucy, 45 seconds on the clock. When you are ready, the course is all yours. Coming on in. Oh, rewind, rewind. Into that whip, rewind air. Floating back over the box jump, out the top. Bar twist out of the speed ramp. Squeezing in tricks wherever you can. 27 seconds. Cannonball to finger. Into that whip front late. Six to 10, 20 seconds. Heel whip out of the speed ramp. Making a bit of good time here. Bassman over the box jump, into a T-bog on the 10, at the spot. Oh, there's the flare redemption from the first run. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucy Davis. Next, a rider up. Your number one qualifier currently sitting in first place. This is the final run of the women's division. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Alexandra Madsen. All right, Alex, when you are ready, 45 seconds on the clock. Time starts when you drop in. Straight into that 10 foot. There's that T-bog over the box jump backwards. Bar twist out of the speed ramp. Carving back round. There's the bright kicky over the box jump. Into the flare, back to back. Bassman out of the landing ramp, 24 seconds. Back in, there's that heel double finger. Into the whip front on the 10 foot, 10 seconds. Bassman over the spine. Kickless ear on the eight. Charging through, whip. Buttercup on the six, and that is time, ladies and gentlemen, Alexander Edson. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, hands to for the women's division. Good boy. Up on deck right now, all the way from the Gold Coast in Australia, it is Root Industries team rider, Emily Gibson. 45 seconds, come on crowd, let's get behind the ladies. Backside feeble. Straight into a nice T-bog air up the back. Bar spin out of the bank, heel out of this one. 30 seconds to go, M. Linking it up there with a feeble to Smith. Bar twist over the bank to bank hip. Floating around this course. Bar, frontside feeble, 270 with a little board side tap on the way in. Front feeble, sticking it. 10 seconds to go M as she jumps into this 50-50. Going for that finger whip there. Just not getting both her feet on, but a solid run for Emily Gibson to kick things off. Next on course is going to be Akira. Another rider all the way from Queensland. Actually, 95% of the riders in this technically live in Queensland right now, which is good. Showing how strong the scene is up there at 
at this minute. Lots of new local skate parks and stuff like that getting built. So there's going to be plenty of sick riders still to come in the future years. Judges are ready to go. Emily score locked in. 45 seconds on the clock. Akira's just locking in the tunes. Good to go when you are. Chinkin as she drops into that quarter pipe. Little can-can. Manual across the bank-to-bank -bank box. Steezing it out when she airs that back quarter. Tail whip up out of that bank-to-bank -bank and then a bar spin out of this one. Oh! Almost holding on to that there. Keeping her momentum though. 22 seconds to go. She airs on that big back vert ramp. Getting some speed. Breakless Manny all the way across that manual pad. Front side 360 to Fakey. Seven seconds left. Hang five attempt. Just not getting it up enough. And that is going to be time for Akira. Straight out of Brisbane, Australia, we're going to have Apex Pro Scooters team rider Bianca Dilworth. 45 seconds is loaded. We are ready when you are. Let's get a B. Dropping in on her signature deck. Backside feeble across the ledge. Into a front board on the rail. Holding it together there with that nice steezy T-bog. And a manual back across the bank to bank. Heel rotor, let's go! Into a back lip. Super technical trick, but she makes it look easy. Heel kick rewind over the bank to bank. Straight into a backside 50. Bar spin drop in. 15 seconds to go, B. Front side lip slide across that flat bar. Into the salad bar drop. Five seconds to go. Front side 270. Into the bra flip here. A nice clean run there for Bianca Dilworth. Next up. It's the only technical Kiwi. I say technical because we're claiming Lucy. What? She lives up the road from me now. That's the Gold Coast. There we go, my microphone. No, you don't. She's ours. All right, we'll see how that goes. She'll be hanging out with me next week. Nice. Lucy Davis we're talking about, who is going to follow our next rudder, who is Alex Madsen. There we go. Finally. The crowd's come back on. Had to just turn the volume back up. We're good when you are. 45 seconds on the clock. Come on, let's keep that energy and make some noise for Alex Madsen. Nice bar twist out of the bank there. Chinking up, whipping, feeble 270 bar in. Backside board, going all the way across that flat bar. Steezy T-Bog as well. Barno over the garden gap and then linking it up with a brakeless manual into that backside disaster. Whipping over the A-frame. Kickless on that big back quarter. 10 seconds to go, Alex. Front board. Bar, back lip. Three seconds to go. Thinking about that T-Bog, but just holding it together. A nice, solid run there for Alex Madsen. Now we've got my new GC local. Although... She is technically from here in New Zealand. Why do you say technically like that? Because we're claiming it. I told you this. We're just walking, it, working on the passport thing and whatever else. Oh, mate. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right. Sure. <laughs> Forty-five seconds has been locked on. The judges are ready to go. Come on, Napier. 
Let's make some noise right now for Lucy Davis. Qualified in top spot with a backside, a feeble to bar spin there. Downside, finger whip over that bank to bank. Go on bar, feeble, bar in. Whip kick, rewind over the bank to bank and then a front board on that flat bar. Sliding across the quarter with the backside, live side. Back 50 across and down, chucking the bar spin on the way out of that one. 15 seconds to go. Keep it going, Lucy. Heel up, double whip off, linking the whole course together with tricks everywhere. Five seconds to go. t bog over the bank to bank. Whip, feeble, bar spin in, and that is going to be time. Beautiful run right there from New Zealander Lucy Davis. Yeah, it was a great run from the semi-Australian. We're going to be resetting, though, back to the top of the list for run number two here for the ladies. Emily Gibson. We're just going to make sure the judges are good to go and the timer has been locked. No, no, no. And we're on. Good to go. Come on, guys. Let's make some noise right now. Emily's last run. Backside feeble to kick things off. Nice toboggan on that back quarter. She comes back across the course right now. Heel whip out of the bank. Backside feeble to Smith. Showing she's got those tech quarter pipe tricks as well. Bar twist over the bank to bank. Go on, bar, feeble. Swiveling around into the salad and then back in. Front side, feeble on that ledge. Into the back 50 up on the quarter. Seven seconds to go, M. Bar spin down the Euro gap. And then a finger whip over the bank to bank. Briar to finish things off. That's a great run for Emily Gibson. Calculated, I think that was. 100%. She knew what she had to do. Added a couple of tricks in there. Linking it up, trying to trick every feature she possibly can across this course. Timed it down to the T as well. You see that in most of the best athletes when it comes to competition. They land a big bang or their last trick right on that buzzer, squeezing it all in. That's it. You could tell it's not her first rodeo. Definitely not. Next up, though, Akira Mella, also from Queensland. She's on the course right now, ready to go. I'll tell you a little story about her. Yesterday she was reading a book. She had headphones in. I walked over and said, what are you listening to? She said, oh, heavy metal. I was like, while you're reading, everyone's got their own flavor. I'm sure that's what's in her ears right now. 45 seconds has just been loaded. Come on, Napier. Let's get behind Akira Mella. Head into that bank to bank with a nice turn down, clicking it all the way. Little can can there. 28 seconds on that clock as she sticks that one. Cruising across the course, linking it up with a little brakeless manual. And again, going back to back from side to side. Going for the front side feeble. Just hitting her wheel on the way up, but locking into that backside 50 to reset. Five seconds to go, Akira. X up over the garden gap. And that is going to be time. The next rider to get back on the course for run number two is going to be Bianca Dilworth. I mentioned it before, she's got a signature deck. I said it yesterday, if you guys can support the riders, buying their signature products helps massively. Alex, you still got some sick parts? Maybe, don't know, she's thinking. She doesn't even know that I'm talking to her. <laughs> hey, mate. Yeah, she's got wheels. Can you get them inside the shop? Yeah, we'll go cop some. If anyone needs new wheels, you know what to do. But right now, 45 seconds on the clock. Bianca Dilworth. 
representing Apex Pro Scooters. Come on, Napier. Let's get behind the ladies right now. Kicking things off with a backside feeble. Just going to keep cruising. Front board across the flat bar, straight into the toboggan air. Nice, smooth run so far. Feeble, fakey, feeble, 270 out. Straight into the bar twist there. She's just cruising. Oh, front side 270 hill. Trying to one up her last run there. Adding a couple of new tricks in on this one. Front side, board side, tail whip out, so clean. Into the salad. Ooh, steezing it. Five seconds to go, B. Bar breakless, Manny. Super smooth, and that is going to be time. Make some noise for Bianca Dilworth, ladies and gentlemen. Now, those SIG wheels I was talking about, you can get them in the shop. He's got plenty of other parts on the way. As the judges look to lock in Bianca's score. Currently, Bianca is sitting in second. She's going to hope to improve on it, but like you saw before, we do have the best tricks after this. Alex, our next rider, is in third, so she's going to look to improve her score as well. With 45 seconds now added to the clock. We are good to go, Alex. Slide in that Smith to kick things off. Drop in on the quarter pipe as she heads over now. To the other side, bar, backside, lip stall. Board slide on the down rail. And a bar twist, backing it up straight after that, out of that bank. Cruising around the top of the quarter now. Plenty of speed as she's heading towards that big quarter with a kickless air. Linking it up, transferring from bank to bank, and then going for that front board whip. Just sliding off the back. Keep it going. Ten seconds to go, Alex. Whipping into the bank. Buttercup so clean on that back quarter. And that is going to be time. A great way to finish that run. Next up for run number two is going to be Lucy Davis, our current leader. Let's see if she can improve on her first run of this afternoon. 45 seconds on the clock. Judges are good to go. Come on, Napier. Let's show some love right now to Lucy Davis. Backside feed with a bar and then straight into the downside finger whip over that bank to bank bar, salad bar on the quarter. Whip kick rewind, there's tricks everywhere. Straight into the front board on that rail and a nice back lip across the quarter. Linking it up with a front side feeble on the ledge into a backside feed with a bar spin on this ledge. Little back disaster, breakless Manny across the box with 15 seconds to go. Bar twist up, whip off. Feeble 270, seven seconds to go. T-Bog over the bank to bank. And then Bar Feeble to finish things off. All right, best trick time. So if all the girls can be ready, feel free. If you wanna jump out and stay out of everyone's way, you can set yourself up on the course. First up, though, is going to be Emily Gibson. So after, these uh, after the run section, we got Lucy Davis in first place at the moment. Still waiting for that second run score to come through. But regardless, she'll be in first place. There we go, bit of an update. Lucy Davis leading at the moment, 75.67. Bianca Dilworth on 71.67. Alexandra Madsen, 68.17. Emily Gibson, 62.67. And Akira Malra Malor on 50 flat. All right, we're time to get into these tricks. Emily, you are first up. Trick number one. She's cruising across the park right now. 
Backside 50 50 to finger whip. Let's go, Em. So nice. I've seen her do that a bunch of times, but not really in competition. Yeah, I think she might have been trying it yesterday. Yeah, maybe ne she needs Didn't to add that to it. her runs in her park comp. That was a banger. Love that. Next up, we're going to have Akira. She's making her way onto the course right now. We are going to be ready to go whenever you are, Akira. Judges are locked in. As you can see, Emily moving into first because she's locked in her best trick score number one. All right, wing, you're ready, Akira. Heading across the course, just like Emily did before. Plenty of speed. Doing a little steezy tabo over the back. Over the tabo, but yeah. just slipping the foot on it. Akira's about those style tricks. There's old school style tricks we like, eh, was it? Yeah, 100%. Back in our day, that's what everyone did. It wasn't all these crazy, flippy, whippy, <laughs> kickless Connor Ransleys. No disrespect to those tricks, though. But yeah. some are just cooler than others. All right, Bianca, your turn for your best trick. She's having Wing, a breather. Ready. She's hiding in the corner there. Let's see what she's got now. Come on, B. Let's make some noise, Napier. There we go. Front side, Ooh, forward front. side, on the down rail, and dodges the ledge. She might get extra points for dodging that ledge. <laughs> Sticking the landing there, so there's points for that. Obviously, the strategy, they got three tricks. They can only throw away one of the scores, so they've got to make sure that they get those lands in. Yeah, next up on the course, though, Alex Madsen. No, I didn't throw it. Come on, thanks for laughing at me. We're just waiting for the judges to lock in Bianca's score. There you go. Wing, you ready, Alex? The course is yours. Attempt number one for you. Backside, feeble grind, Smith to whip in. Going a nice long distance across that quarter pipe as well. Definitely Just locking that one in for a score. 100%. And then last off to kick things off in her little expedition of best tricks is going to be Lucy Davis. We're just waiting on these scores to come in for Alex for a trick. Yeah, if you can't see how Lucy is all the way over on the left, near that big quarter pipe. Alex needing a 25.17 to put her into first place. There and we she's go. She's got it. All right, Lucy, the ball is in your court. Trick number one, here we go. Bar Feeble Smith in. It's a land. Yeah, it's not going to be what she wanted, but still, points on the board. That's the most important thing in this setup right now. You need to land some tricks to score some points. So it might not be the trick that you want, but it's better than a zero. 100%. And right now, we're going to reset back to the top of the list with Emily Gibson for attempt number two. She jumped up the leaderboard with the first trick. Let's see if she can do it again. Currently sitting in second place. Wing, you're ready, Emily. Feeble across, down 180 out. Ooh, oh, just coming out. Unlucky, Emily. Yeah, she was going for that front side, 180 out. Nah, you got it. You got Not it in the next one. All right, Akira, you're up next to your spot. And then we're into Bianca. Right, Akira, when you're ready. Here 
Here we go, trick attempt number two. There it is. Yeah, she's gone back for redemption on that one. Just steezing it out, nice little, nice little Tabo. I was almost about to say Tabo. I'm losing it. Another cool trick bag. Yeah, for sure. Always in this style trick bag is Akira Mella. That's going to mean some more points on the board for her. And up for attempt number two is going to be Bianca Dilworth. Also looking to add some more points. She's currently sitting on a 90 flat. All right, wing, you're ready, Bianca. Oh, hey, there Fable we go. Smith, Fable whip Smith, in. whip, all right. Catching that one, sliding really nice and locked in on both grinds. And super smooth into the bank. Judges are going to like that one as well because it's going into the bank. So not only landing flat, she's got to get into that transition. Yeah, making it all the way across that ledge. Super similar trip trick to what Alex did up on the coping up there. And speaking of her, she is going to be going in for attempt number two herself. Currently top of the table. She's going to look to extend that lead now with another second best trick score. Ooh, Bianca's score putting her into first at the moment. Ooh. But back to Alex for a second trick attempt. Course is yours when you're ready, Alex. Board slide down the rail on the driveway. Yep, like we said before, it's so good to just be consistent in this section. It can be the difference. These tricks are so valuable. All right, Lucy coming in for a second trick right now. All right, Lucy, the course is yours when you're ready. Feeble across, down with a basman out. Oh, oh, just slipping out. She was locked into the feeble all the way across and down. And just as she went to bar out, started to lose her balance that tiny, tiny bit. But she does get another crack though. We do have three attempts for a best trick. So we're going to reset to the top of the list for those third attempts now. All right, Emily. Yep, you sure can. As long as you haven't landed a trick. So the rules are that they can, once they land a trick, they can't go back and do it again. So say for example, um, Alex, was, Alex did the board slide down the rail. She can't do that trick again, uh, so she's got to move on to a different trick. So you can't just go and score a 50-point trick and then just keep doing that three times. Yep. But if you bail it, you can go back at it. And that is what M wants to do right now. Come on, Napier. Let's get behind these ladies. Let's see if Emily can do it. There we go. Oh, redemption, redemption. Backside, feeble, across, down, and a frontside 180 out to Fakey. And then a frontside cab out of it. Love to see it. That's definitely going to help Emily's score. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, hands again for Emily Gibson right there. Final trick of the day for her. She's going to be stoked to lock in another one of these now best we're up trick to scores. Akira. Here we go, scoring, puts her into second place with 124.84. Akira, up to you now, final trick for you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for Akira. Let's go. Here we go. Wing, you're ready. Oh, going for the nose manual. Ladies and gentlemen, hands again for Akira. I don't know about you, Wazza, but Akira's got my vote for favourite rider of the day. 
She's definitely up there. She's so unique. She rides her own way. And that's one of my favorite things about scootering. You can do your own tricks. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. It's such a unique sport. And I love the fact that you can get creative, have your own style, have your own personality, and let it show with the way you ride. All right, Bianca, up to you. You're currently sitting in first place with a lead of 4.83. Oh, she's chained her, changed her mind. Wrong side, didn't even think. Now she's good to go. Judges are good, Kyle? Yep, judges are good. When you're ready. Uh, Ali, come on, B. Oh, oh bar twist up onto the mini pad. It's a land, so it's going to score points. Yeah, she might have wanted something more there, but still, like we said, landed, rode away. It's going to put points on the board, and that there could extend go. her lead. We'll have to wait and see what the judges say. All right, so Alex is just asking, because you can't do the same trick, you can do the same trick if you add something onto it. So obviously if you board slid down the rail, you got a score for that. If you then went back and did a board slide tail whip out, that's allowed. But if it's another board slide, it wouldn't count. All right. Oh, just wait for this last score to come in. There we go. All right, Alex, wing, you're ready. The judges are ready. Oh, board slide across that driveway rail, Baspin out. Ladies and gentlemen, hands give Alexandra Madsen. Final trick of the day there. Yeah, and so clean as well, showing her experience. Made sure she knew the rules. It's a, her lowest score currently sits at 19.5. So she's needing something higher than that to bump her score up. Just waiting for the judges to lock in their scores. Here we go, scores locked in. 24.83 for that one, taking her up into second place with 125.67. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last a trick of the women's category, Lucy Davis. Up there, ready to go. That's it, Napier. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Let's make even more noise. Come on, Lucy. Feeble across, bar to Feeble, downhill oh. and out. Four piece combo. And the little double throw bar, just, you know. Just because. Just because. Just because. There we go, that's what she was looking for. Oh, almost left M hanging. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while the judges put together that final score, round of applause for the women's street division right there. All throwing down. We're going to have the men's street up next. If I can just see the men's street down the bottom over here, uh, just while we wait for that final score to come in. So that's Jacob, Jacob, Jamola, Connor Ransley, Corey Griffiths, Cooper Steen, Jordan Chan, and Joel Ingold. Your name's either got to start with a J or a C to be in this final. I think yep. that was the rules. Oh, 41.50, taking Lucy into second place right there on the end. So once again, all of our final presentations will be at the end. So after this men's street, we'll be doing the final presentations for the park and the street. But ladies and gentlemen, hands together right now for Bianca Dilworth taking that out, 129.67. Yeah, she hasn't been doing too many competitions lately, but she's going to be stoked to be taking top spot now that she's back. And hopefully we see much more of that from all of the ladies in that category. 
over in Rome later in the year.